can't do that. I can't do that. I, I could never. I'm, that's just not for me. I can't say that. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. Are you overthinking? A lot of us overthink a lot of things and we never do anything about it. We never move forward. We always get stuck in limbo thinking, should, should we have said that? Should we have done that? I shouldn't do it. Anything and everything comes to mind when we overthink. And this can make us feel stuck in life and never feel like we're progressing. I used to think way way too much and I found some ways and along my journey of healing I found ways to help combat this and to slow down the mental chatter to slow down and realize why do we overthink and for many of us this starts at a younger age especially when we're children when we're, young, when we're in childhood we're being raised, we're being conditioned by society, our parents, family, friends. You shouldn't do that. You can do better. That's not good enough. Don't do that. That's not right. You shouldn't. You're supposed to do this. So many different things. And those are seeds that become planted in our minds. And it's our responsibility to take care of it. But we water those seeds and let those seeds grow. And now they can dictate our life and hold us back. And we may not even know why. But, and also, we can use drugs, alcohol, medication to, to slow down our, our thinking, to cover the symptom. But if we never look at the root issue, why we overthink to begin with, then we'll never be able to fully heal and awaken to our truth. All these thoughts can can blind us and distract us from who we are, from what we want to express ourselves. Look at all these leaves. Look at all these leaves outside. They're covering the ground. They're like thoughts that cover our truth. If the leaves are in the way, we can never tell that the grass is green. If our thoughts are blinding our minds, we can never see our full expression. We can never find our passions, find what we really enjoy, what makes us happy, our rhythm, our dance moves. We start overthinking too much. We become rigid when we try to dance, when we try to sing. We tell ourselves we can't do it, we can't do it, we can't dance. I can't draw, I can't paint. I can't talk to that person. But you can, you can do any, all these things. But we have in our minds that we're not good enough. That messes with our self-esteem. That we shouldn't do it. We should have done better. We have to do something very perfect. Perfectionism is huge in our culture, in our society. But there's no such thing. We're, we're not here to be perfect. We're here to grow, learn, evolve, to express ourselves. And nobody is born perfect. Everybody takes so much, everyone goes at their own pace to learn to be better and better and better and better for themselves, not compared to the next person, but for themselves, for you. Are you being hindered by your overthinking? What helps overthinking? Breathing, being focused to their breath, being focused in the present moment, because the present moment right now is what's only real. When we start thinking about the past or what happened in the past, that's not real. Or we're th too worried, thinking too much about the future, what's going to happen, what that person's going to say, how am I going to be judged and criticized? It's not real either. We're just thinking. We're letting that plant, that that seed that grew inside us, overpower us. But you give less power when you act upon what it is that you want to do. If you want to dance, you give less power to those thoughts and more power to yourself. You continue dancing, even though it might feel a little bit uncomfortable. People are watching me make this video, but it might feel a little bit, and then you still do it anyways. 
and you give less power to those thoughts and, be, and you become more of who you are your truth you express yourself and then you start to experience whatever it is that you came here to experience you want to have you want to make those real connections with people then you can do that because you're not thinking about it you're doing them and you're not letting those thoughts disconnect you from what you want to do you feel fully connected when you're having a conversation you're listening to the you're engaging you're here right now talking to the person you're not letting your mind pull you away and disconnect you from the moment disconnect you from the conversation you are having the conversation that you want to have you're connecting with the person when you're hugging somebody you're hugging them and feeling them not thinking about the spaghetti you had last night or how this hug isn't good enough we're not here to be perfect we're here to fully express ourselves experience and feel so why do we overthink and what can we do breath take action upon whatever we are overthinking about take action as in do it anyways and their fear and the thoughts will go away because you give less power to them be connected to the breath because that's the only thing that's real not those thoughts the thoughts are illusions feeling your feet where's your feet right now feel connected to your feet feel connected to the moment and fully engage and don't worry and think about other things that are not currently present and have compassion for yourself when we start overthinking we may have we might cycle down and start going to this crisis we may have um, too many thoughts who are we why are we doing this you know we can go really deep trying to figure out why we overthink too much and it can spiral us down but have compassion for yourself compassion for yourself first take care of yourself allow yourself to be okay with overthinking don't say this is who I am don't identify with the overthinking don't identify with the thoughts because the thoughts are not you and the moment you start to identify and tell yourself my personality is an overthinker I overanalyze then you put yourself into that mental prison and now you are a slave to your own identification. I am an overthinker. And it's that much harder to break out of it, to let yourself be free, to fully express without overthinking. So we should not identify with overthinking. It's just something that we're experiencing and, and processing, going through to get to the next stage of our evolution, of our self-expression. We have that piece of um, we have that experience to take with us so that we can share with people I've over I used to overthink but now I've learned how to better myself how can I help better other people with this experience it gives you a place of um, as, as a teacher you can teach people how to overcome overthinking So, have compassion for yourself. Realize this can may have come because our conditioning, we were told we weren't good enough once. We told we had to do better. We shouldn't do this. We shouldn't do that. We're not good at this. We're not good at that. And we kept playing that same old song in our minds. But it's not real. We can always overcome it. And just let yourself be free. Dance. Sing paint you don't have to be perfect you're just here to do what makes you happy and express yourself